Hey everyone, all right, today I'm gonna to be fixing an ongoing issue I've had with my headlights. Um, so my full beam switch hasn't been working on the steering column um, since the last time I took it into the mechanic. So um, I've done a bit of reading and uh, there's a high probability that that switch is just fried. Um, and the reason is, is that uh, the car was at some point in its life um, installed with H4s, so higher, higher powered headlights than came with the car originally. So those headlights are drawing a lot of current. Now, currently there is, um, when, the head, when the full beam switch is thrown on, the current goes directly through that switch as I understand it, and the amount of current that's running through there is a little bit too much for the little switch. So what I've done is I've gone and got myself a replacement from Pelican. Um, and the way that this switch works is that as you push the lever in or out, that activates the full beam and there are these tiny little strips that connect with one another. Um, now, I haven't actually been able to sort of like get in and see the original switch, um, but I figure if we're gonna replace it, I'm gonna get this new one, have a check out how the connections all work and understand it a little bit more. Um, and then we'll just switch those out and hopefully that's gonna fix the issue. But I wanna make sure that that issue never happens again. So, um, I'm still learning about all this, but the way that I understand it is that when that switch is flicked and all of that current is drawn through that, that's th those, those smaller switches that can't really handle it, um, there's a way in which you can install a small relay right by the fuse box, which means that that switch will draw, draw a much smaller current and it will send a signal to the relay to turn that relay on, and that relay is built to handle a much larger current. So now we're taking the large current that was currently, that was originally, sorry, running through that switch, and we're sending it down to the relay. So I picked up this relay, again from Pelican, um, that's made by J West Engineering. Um, I've used their products before, and they've been great. So um, we're gonna throw this one in. It seems pretty straightforward. So I'm gonna break this video up into two sections. Um, I've decided to install the relay first because the last thing I want to do is to throw the new switch in and then um, test the headlights and have it draw all that current back through the switch and risk frying the switch again. It's probably going to be fine, but I figure I'll throw the relay in first so that at least we've got that in place and then I'll do the switch install. So um, I'm going to crack on with that and we'll see how it all goes. Okay, so the very first thing that I'm going to want to do before I start messing around with any of the electronics here in the car is um, identify the fuse panel, which of course is here, the battery, which is here, and uh, we want to remove any electric current from, that's running from the system. So um, I'm just going to disconnect the negative uh, terminal. I have like a quick release on here, which I use every time I park the car actually. Um, so I've just disconnected that, and then we'll crack on and look at the fuse panel and which wires we need to start pulling out. Okay, so looking at the fuse panel, the first thing we need to do is identify exactly which wires it is that we're going to need to remove um, and rewire through our new relay. So um, you start counting the fuses from the front of the car moving backwards. So the fuses that we're most interested in are going to be um, either fuse 5 or 6 or fuse 7 and 8. Um, and the two cables that we're looking for going into 5 or 6 is going to be a yellow cable going into 5 or 6 and a white cable going into 7 or 8. Um, and those options just become, because you're looking at a 40 year old car and you don't know who's really been working on it. Um, so there could have been some, some uh, cable changes or an installations of other bits of equipment. So on my car, um, moving forward, two, three, four, five, and fuse six, I've got a yellow cable, and fuse uh, seven, uh, sorry, eight, I've got a white cable. So uh, the first thing we need to do is to remove both of those having disconnected the power. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Just loosen up the two fuse screws at the top and pull these cables out. Okay, now each of these cables has a crimp on it, which we need to remove um, because these cables are going to be going into, um, they're gonna be attached to um, some of the cables in the relay. So uh, we need to remove those crimps first and strip the wires so that we can prep that for the next bit. Okay, so um, now that we've stripped these cables um, and prepared them to go into the relay, um, 
we need to, you'll see there's a bunch of cables coming out of the relay. Um, the red and brown ones uh, straight for the positive battery terminal and the grounding screw um, in the front of the car. So we need to group the, uh, the blue, the yellow, the white, and the green cables together. And what we're gonna do is we need them to come out of the back of the relay and we're, I'm gonna feed them up through the back of the fuse panel um, and, and out of the top here so that they can then connect to these, um, the, the white and the yellow cable that we've just prepped. All right, so having fed those cables through, we're now just gonna pair them up. Um, we are gonna take the, uh, the yellow cable from the relay and we're gonna attach that to the uh, yellow cable, the factory yellow cable. And having done that, we're just gonna crimp that in place. And now we're gonna do the exact same with the white cable as well. And again, crimp that in place. Okay, now we are gonna take the green cable. I'm actually just gonna pull the yellow and white back down just so that we've got this little awesome idea. So this is the new yellows and whites and just pulling out of the way. Okay, so now we're going to take the green cable and we're going to insert that back into the original um, fuse that the yellow cable came from. So that was fuse six for me. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that is going back in here. And the blue cable is going back into fuse eight. Okay, now that we've done that, um, we need to run the red cable from the relay down to the positive terminal on our battery. And we want to take the brown grounding wire over to the, the grounding cable. You can find the grounding cable by following the negative battery line just through back here. And there's a little screw on the front of the chassis, which is where all the grounding cables get attached to. There's a few grounding points around the car, but this is the one that we're going to use for the relay. Okay, so you can see now that we've run the red cable from the relay over to the positive battery terminal. And now we're taking the brown cable and we're running it down in this direction to the grounding screw. All right, to find the grounding cable, we're just gonna follow the uh, negative battery terminal, which I had actually disconnected and uh, just follow it straight away back. There's a screw on the front of the car right here uh, against the chassis, we're gonna unscrew that. Um, there's a couple of extra other um, grounding cables that are already attached to it. We're going to add this to that bundle and then screw it all back together. And then we are going to mount the relay and we should be good to go. All right, so that finishes up part one of that, um, that installation. So that headlight, headlight relay went in really, really well. Um, much easier than I thought it would be. Uh, Jay West sent you a really easy to follow set of instructions, which is basically what I did. Um, so I'm gonna include links to um, the product and uh, the step-by-step uh, -step below. And um, you can check those out for yourself. Um, I think this is a must for anybody that's got, um, you know, the H4s or is thinking of putting them in. Um, I'm thinking one day of stepping up to the, the 911 Ravens, actually. They're, they're some really, really nice lights that really complement these, um, the older cars. So um, I'm glad that that's now in place. Uh, the next thing I need to do is to get this switch in. Interestingly enough, um, putting the relay in, my full beams are now working again. 
Um, but intermittently that switch is like, sometimes they come on, sometimes they don't. So I'm just gonna replace the whole thing. Um, so you can check out the next video uh, to see how that bit goes. Um, thanks for following this one. I hope it's helped. And again, uh, give us a follow um, and leave any comments in the section below. Um, if you've got any tips, anything like that, I'd love to hear them. All right, thanks.